Today, September 11th, 2023. This calendar day is one of the few that I can look several years back and say with confidence what I was doing on this very specific day. For those of you who it doesn't immediately register what September 11th signifies. There was an attack on the Twin Towers in New York City, as well as an attack on the Pentagon, and an attempted attack on, we're not really sure of the exact target, but the hijacked plane was overtaken by the courageous efforts of the men and women of Flight 93, who brought the plane down into a field in Somerset, Pennsylvania, better known as Nowheresville, USA. The events of September 11th, 2001 have already gone down in the history book. It's one of those where were you moments. Moments like where were you when man walked on the moon? Where were you when JFK was shot. You know, I'm not even sure that the United States has had another one of these events since September 11th, thankfully. <laughs> but that just makes it all the easier to look back on 9-11 and remember what happened that day. Here was my story. I was in second grade. I don't remember a whole lot how the morning went. Couldn't tell you what we learned that day, what we had for lunch. I don't even remember whether we got out early or they treated it like normal school day and we went home on the bus at our regularly scheduled time. What I definitely remember is after getting off the bus and walking up the driveway to the trailer that my mother and I lived in. My mom had the news on. She never had the news on. She's normally watching soap operas or some other form of you know, entertainment TV. So why did she have the news on? And you know, it was such a gorgeous day in central Pennsylvania. Blue sky, a couple of clouds, a light breeze, not too hot, not too cold. Like I said, just picturesque weather. All for the backdrop of a historic where were you moment in history. It really didn't hit me, the significance of 9-11 for several years, but whether fortunately or unfortunately the area I grew up in was dedicated to the concept of never forget. So each year on the anniversary of September 11th, we had lessons on what went down and we explored some of the, the research and the findings that were uncovered about the men who hijacked these four planes. So we were treating it as a history event right there in third grade. And of course, there's various documentaries and videos out there detailing what happened on September 11th, 2001. To the best of my knowledge, the United States had never, for, and hopefully never will again have, such a tragic loss of life from a direct deliberate militaristic attack that landed on our soil. The closest maybe that I could think of would be Pearl Harbor. But I want to say Pearl Harbor, which is in Hawaii. Hawaii wasn't even a state yet during the World War II era. It was a U.S. territory, but splitting hairs. Now, if you ever have the opportunity to be in central Pennsylvania, Somerset is not a far drive. 
really, if you're even in Pittsburgh, I think at that point you're looking at maybe an hour, hour and a half. It is well worth a trip because there is the Flight 93 Memorial there in Somerset, Pennsylvania. I've been myself several years ago. I do need to warn you though, what you will see and experience there is ineffable. It's jaw dropping. Odds are it will change your life because it's going to stick with you for the rest of your life. One of the exhibits at the Flight 93 Memorial offers live audio recordings from the passengers inside Flight 93 after they've collectively come to the decision to re-hijack the plane from the hijackers. None, they are very, very aware that their actions have zero chance of survival. Their plan is to bring the plane down because at least if the plane goes down, the only victims from that plane will be the ones on board. They've counted the cost. They know the consequences. And yet, they stood up, found courage that few of us can muster, and executed their plan. I thank God that so many of us are fortunate to never face such a decision where truly life and death is on the line or death only is the option. The question is how much? Because ultimately, do you think that you could make that sacrifice? Do you think you could put forth the effort knowing that you are staring down the barrel of a Russian roulette with all six chambers loaded? All for the sake of hopefully saving somebody else the loss of not going home to their loved ones that evening. We'll never know for sure, at least I don't think we'll ever know for sure, the precise target that the hijackers of Flight 93 were aiming for. And that, that wasn't the point. The passengers of Flight 93 had learned of the attacks on the Twin Towers and possibly even the Pentagon, if I'm remembering the timeline correctly. So no matter what, they had pieced together that this was... This hijacking was meant to cause severe damage. Possibly, I think I've heard speculation that they were going to go for the White House or maybe even Congress. So, had that plane, had those hijackers accomplished their mission, it's tough to say how much more loss of life would have been experienced on September 11, 2001. But instead of damage and loss of life to the areas in and around maybe the White House or a different part of the Pentagon or the Congress building, instead there's a field in Somerset, Pennsylvania. That is the final resting place for the heroes aboard Flight 93.